All right, so today I've got um, a review about uh, the complete works of William Shakespeare for you uh, by Barnes & Noble. It's their leather-bound classics edition. Uh, it's a very, very nice copy. Uh, it looks huge on the shelf. Uh, here's my, my hand in comparison. Um, uh, yeah, it looks so. It's a, it's a nice, nice big fat volume. Um, the colours on it are brown and red and gold. It's very, very beautiful details. There we go. It's a nice um, f feather quill design on the on the side of the book there. The front of the book. Let me bring it over to my desk so we can get a better look at it. It's lovely um, gold uh, details there. Slightly embossed again, as usual, with the Barnes & Noble leather-bound editions. picture of the bard himself well it's up to individual tastes whether you like that or not it's not it's not bad okay so that's what it looks like from the front the side I've shown you already And the back is very beautiful. Again, the work that's been done with this gold paint, it looks really, really good. WS monogram for William Shakespeare. Okay, so that's the outside. And the side of this one is a lovely gold colour. I'll just show you the the um, the ribbon, the bookmark ribbon is also a very nice gold. Barnes and Noble always do a very good job of complementing the colour of the covers. With, um, with with a nice colour of ribbon. So on the inside, the first page you have this monogram mm, design. It's uh, it's kind of gold and red. It's not quite as shiny as as the cover, of course, but it's still still pretty shiny. This this gold for for paper. Here are the plays. I will let you pause the video if necessary and uh, check that the plays that you're after are in here. It is the complete work, so they certainly should be. Now the font in this edition is is um it's not quite as clear. As you might like, it seems to be um, a scan of, um, of an earlier edition. I, I'm pretty sure the version that my mother had um, back in the 80s or possibly even 70s. And goodness no, knows when she actually bought it. Um, had exactly the same font and the same layout on over two columns. Um, Yes, uh, I think maybe if I compare it to um, something else like, uh, what could I show you? 
showed you the Divine Comedy the other day in another video. If we open that, you'll see that the font is much more pleasant. This versus this. I mean, it's certainly readable, there's no question about that. Maybe a bit more of a, of a reference book than a, than a sit down and read book, I guess. There you are. I'll show you the last page. I don't know if there's anything going on in the back over here. Oh, there. Ah, there's a, there is a glossary. If there's anything before the glossary. Sonnets. straight into the glossary. All the way to Zany. That's the last page. So three or four blank pages at the end. And that's it. So there you have it, beautiful, beautiful edition of William Shakespeare's complete works. And of course, just like all Barnes & Noble's leather-bound editions, it looks fantastic on the shelf. There we are. Take care.